there's a funny there's a funny scripture in Psalms and it says this, O Lord, O God, let your glorious vengeance shine forth. It goes on about vengeance for a minute. And I think in the modern day PC version of God, that's not something or a side of them that we really talk about much. God being vengeful, like that being a characteristic of a good benevolent God. But it's important that we let the scriptures speak for themselves, right? And the Bible says he's a vengeful God. He strikes vengeance. I think part of the reason we struggle with the term of vengeance is because we've really only seen vengeance done from people with wicked hearts. Like they say, out of the, the heart, the mouth speaks. And, and, and that's definitely true. And so like vengeance in the terms that we've seen have come from people who like we're wicked. I mean, it's just true. When we get hurt, we want to hurt people and hurt people, hurt people. God's not that way, though. He's not hurt. And when he does vengeance, it comes from a sense of justice and being right, not wrong and hurting. You know, it's perspective that helps you understand this. I was kind of praying and meditating on that scripture the other morning, and this is kind of what I got. Lord, I was just thinking, and this is what the Holy Spirit spoke to me. He said, you know, to, to the warrior, I'm sorry, let me say it this way, to his enemies, the warrior was fierce and a force to be reckoned with. But to his daughter, he was a jungle gym, a funny guy, a safe place, a protector. It was perspective that taught it a difference. He was the same character. It was the same person. It was just what side you were on that really helped you understand. God's the same way. When he says vengeance, he's out to take care of you, to protect you. He's a safe place. And it's that characteristic that makes you feel safe. It's because you know he can protect you. It's just important that we let scripture speak for themselves, but most of all, to understand that God is who he is and he will protect you. I just encourage you to be on that side of it, to be on the side that helps you understand it. You know, here's the deal. There's only so much explaining you could do. The world is simply at its core. If it insists on being the world, it will not truly understand God or the fact that you follow him. It's probably less important so much as you understand your God and know that he will fight for you. So go out there, do some great things. Be every bit of who God calls you to be, but understand our eventual God will fight for you. God be blessed.